this video I'm going to be doing uh, one derivative that has a natural log and e to the x in it. Um, so for starters, we ought to make sure that we know those two derivatives. So the derivative of e to the u is going to be e to the u u prime, where u is a function of x. And the derivative of the natural log of u is u prime over u, again, with u being a function of x. All right, so technically I've got the natural log of a u here, and so I could just go ahead and do u prime over u. However, looking at what that u is, that's a quotient. So I would have to do a quotient rule, all right, and that would end up being very complicated. So in this particular instance where you've got a log function and you see a log that you're dividing here with, um, the easiest way to do this is to apply some log rules to that function before you start to take the derivative so that you can s simplify it. All right, so I'm going to put use log rules to simplify. Okay, that would be my um, recommendation on how that's going to make this uh, just a little bit easier here. Okay, so dividing uh, with my logs here, I can uh, break this up into subtraction. So I'm going to have um, y is equal to the natural log of the 1 plus e to the x minus natural log of the 1 minus e to the x. All right, now at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative of both sides. So the derivative of y is going to be y prime. All right, derivative here, now I'm actually going to use the u prime over u. So the derivative of my inside here, 1 plus e to the x, well, derivative of e to the x is going to be e to the x times 1, or just an e to the x. And then all over to the u, which is 1 plus e to the x. All right, then I'm going to have minus. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do u prime over u. Derivative here, all right, will be a negative e to the x times 1. So just a negative e to the x. And then all over the 1 minus e to the x. All right, now at this point, I probably, I mean, technically you're done. You have taken the derivative. However, I would probably get common denominators and write this as a single um, rational expression. So the first thing I would probably do is I'd probably do plus plus right there because we've got two minuses. All right, um, two rational expressions, I would get common denominators. So that means this fraction is going to have to be multiplied by 1 plus e to the x over a 1 plus e to the x. And that means this fraction would need to be multiplied by that 1 minus e to the x. So 1 minus e to the x over 1 minus e to the x. Okay, and we're going to multiply there. All right, so we're going to focus on just that numerator because we know what the denominator is going to be here. So um, distributing right here, I'm going to have an e to the x. And then e to the x times e to the x, um, I'm going to have as a minus e to the 2x. All right, distributing over here, e to the x times 1, is just going to give me an e to the x. Distributing again, an e to the x times an e to the x is going to give me a e raised to the 2x. All right, and then all over that denominator, we're just going to leave it the way it is. So 1 minus e to the x, and then 1 plus e to the x. All right, now simplifying that numerator, I've got a negative e to the 2x and a positive e to the 2x. So those two are going to cross out. So that's going to help there. I will have two of these in the top. Now, taking a look at this denominator right here, I've got the same thing in the first and second places. One's with a plus, one's with a minus. So that means this is the factored form of the difference of two squares. All right, let's make that note right here. So this would be basically the difference of two squares after it has been factored. All right, so if I square the first one, which would be one, put a minus sign in between it, and then square the second one, I'm going to have an e to the 2x. All right, so I can simplify this down to a y prime is equal to, we said 2 on top, 2e to the x, all over this written out or this multiplied out, foiled out, you would get the 1 minus e raised to the 2x. All right, so pretty much a, a really actually a straightforward, easy derivative, all right, if you take the right approach to this. Use those log rules first to simplify that expression. You know, don't always just automatically, you know, do the u prime over u because it can be more complicated doing it that way. 
Uh, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to um, share with your friends so they can benefit as well. And then also subscribe to the channel. Thanks.